So another thing that people often want to talk about because they have questions is this thing called TTS. And TTS is thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome, which means that people develop blood clots and also low blood platelets, which can cause bleeding both at the same time. And this is a rare complication of AstraZeneca vaccine. It happens in between two and five per 100,000 people following their first dose of AstraZeneca. And it's much, much less common than that following a second dose. It's important for people to know about though, because it can be extremely serious and it can also be treated if it's picked up early. And here in Australia, we've become much better at being able to recognize TTS and to treat it appropriately. So it's important to know the things to watch out for. So what sort of things are they? So one of the main things is a new and ongoing or severe headache that doesn't go away with simple things like Panadol. So that would be important, particularly if you had vomiting with it or you had a headache that was worse when you were lying down. Sometimes those headaches can come along with um, blurred vision or difficulty with your speech or feeling sleepy. And those would all be really worrying signs and you would need to be checked out straight away. The other sorts of symptoms, so symptoms that could represent like a um, blood clot in the lung would be if you had sudden severe sort of chest pain or difficulty breathing. Um, and you can also get blood clots in the inside the tummy and so that can cause new tummy pain and people are normally really unwell with that. You can also get um, unusual bleeding so with bruising or little pinprick spots under the skin and also blood clots occurring in the leg which could cause a swollen and sore or red leg. So these are the sorts of things to watch out for and they're quite it's quite the list of symptoms really. If you were not sure about any symptoms that you developed after vaccination, then there is a symptom checker available and um, that can be really helpful to guide you through whether you should be seeking medical attention or not. If you did get any of those symptoms and you were in a position to see a doctor straight away, that would be ideal. And it would be important to mention that you had had the AstraZeneca vaccine.